can you introduce her to us? Yes, this is Julia. Julia is my good friend. Say hi, Julia. Hello to all you out there <laughs> for Shaping Memories. Oh, yay! Our I'm first exciting. dance, our first dance. We're so excited to have you here. I am so excited to be here. <laughs> this is a much awesome. better way to spend my uh, time than... You know, actually working, working. Or doing errands. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, who doesn't like to do fun activities, right? Exactly. Love Every it. Every day. Love it. That's what we love to do. Mm -hmm. We love it. Um, so this is Cynthia's activity. I carve pumpkins. Do you paint or carve pumpkins? Or I both? normally uh, carve. Yeah. I, yeah, I like the I like to carve and do the really intricate ones, but yeah, she does. you really do have to have, it helps when you have templates. Yeah. Templates um, and the right tools. And that's that. true. But yeah. we are going to carve... The, in the, another activity, but this yeah. is Cynthia's activity because she paints yeah. pumpkins. We're going to do, yeah, pumpkin painting. So, I mean, there are no rules, really. I don't really follow any rules, but I mean, if anybody wants to look on the internet and look up some templates or pictures, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I don't know that everyone has a rule like, oh, you got to clean it off or, you know, like the apples like we did. Yeah, we right? cleaned the apples. Too. But, um, yeah, you want to get the dirt off. It depends on where you get your pumpkin to, right? Because it could be dirty and you don't want, yeah. like, so the, the, the paint stays. Mm -hmm. I was going to yeah. say, it, yeah. well, in some of these things, though, sometimes they'll have um, uh, these brown spots uh -huh. that aren't dirt. Yeah. But when you have those, even on the bigger pumpkins. Oh, the little bumps? Yeah, they make little yeah. bumps in the different brown colors. That can actually... Especially, if I would think if you're painting, because I don't really paint much, but I would think yeah. if you're painting, you could really design around that. Oh, yeah. So you can really uh -huh. use it for something. And I would think the same thing with these. I mean, as I look at the pumpkins, mm -hmm. I don't know how creative I am, but if we'll I was... Out. I was saying, <laughs> we'll I'm not very good at drawing. Now, Julia. But if you can think about, like, look at yeah. how different all the, the stems designs. are. I, love exactly. I mean, what could you... It's almost like being... Um, uh, Michelangelo, you know, he would oh, look yeah. at a piece of, of um, when he's doing his sculpture, he'd look mm -hmm. at that, that, uh, like marble, the marble, thank you, yeah. yes. I mean, and I mean, he, he believed that whatever was in there was, was in there um, divinely, and it was his job to go in there and chip ch around it, chip it, yeah. chisel it out. so if, even though we're not carving, if yeah. you look at this, maybe you can actually see something, like mm -hmm. I actually see a cat's tail. Oh, but I'm not. I don't. But I'm not artistic enough to do that. Uh -huh. But who I'm knows? Like, yeah. Or maybe if you put this on the side, mm -hmm. you would see like a little pig's tail. Yeah. You know, the oh, little. That's cute. Oh my gosh. So I mean, and that's the other thing too. I'm thinking that's kind of the neat thing. I think if you're creative, yeah, you can actually. In your case, you could actually put it on the side. See, yeah, I was true. before we started. I said I want to do a cat face because you all know I got a little baby kitty mm -hmm. that I love so much. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, I never even saw that, but that could be the cat's tail. Absolutely. And I could put that his little face right here. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. That's what I'm going to do. I love it. I'm going to do a little cat face. Yeah, I mean, and a lot of people like to paint the whole pumpkin. You can do that. Or just, you know, just like, paint any picture on it. Mm -hmm. So, there are no rules to art. I always say that. So... Well, let, can you pass me the black Of course, paint? let's start. <laughs> I'm going to paint my tail. Here and I think I'm going to do... Oh, wait. Here, I'm gonna take some black, I'm and then I think I'm gonna draw a little face. Is this the black? Okay. No, I got the black. This is black too, right? Yeah, I got black. Yep, it's black. I got all different color black, but I'm gonna draw his little face. You guys already and know what you want to do. Oh, <laughs> not really. No, not really. You kind of just do is this it. brown. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to come to me. <laughs> all right. Well, we only got 15 minutes. Hey, you so. have yellow. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Okay, yellow? now I gotta change the whole plan. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. I'm drawing my kitty cat's little face. I got its ta its ears. Oh, white. Let's see. And a big old circle for its little so face. So we are using acrylic paints. I forgot to mention that. Oh, good. But they have acrylic. Also, uh, they have pens, like different kinds of pens. That you oh, use. I brought some. I brought and some Sharpies. Sharpies. Like, I use the Sharpies for the white pumpkins, like when I draw uh, Jack. Yeah, Cynthia. Jack Skellington. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, she I use the Sharpies because it just seems to work for me. I think I'm going to outline in my Sharpie first. And then I'll paint him. I don't know what I'm going to see if the Sharpies work. I hope so. I'm sorry. If not, then I'll be painting. I'm making a skinny kitty. Jack. So that no, was a very brushes. cool quiz that you guys had with the... Which one? <laughs> well, with the one with the scary movies. 
Oh, oh you like that? That was awesome. I mean, you pulled out some pretty old ones <laughs> when I was watching it. I, I, I'm trying to. It was the first one with the little, the little yes, tiki guy. Yeah. I had totally forgotten about that Did one. Did you watch that one? I had watched it years ago. Uh huh. But I'm the type of person that does not like scary movies. It's funny. Oh, there you go. Well, it's funny because I like go. scary mazes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been doing those oh, for years. Oh, yes. Tell but us I about don't, that. Well, I was going to say, I don't want to sit through a scary movie. Yeah. See, scary mazes are a little different. When you walk through a maze, um, I mean, you get scared, but I, you know, you're know, you through it within, say, five to ten minutes. But when you're in a movie, when you watch a movie, you're incredibly immersed in it. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, and usually that happens with any movie, right? So, you become so immersed in it that you become one with it to a point. Yeah. And so I think that's why I don't like scary movies because I become a little too immersed in it. <laughs> but scary mazes, I eventually get through them. Scary uh -huh. movies freak me out. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. And I definitely prefer the old classics that are not necessarily gory. Like Frankenstein. Yes, yes, I was just watching the <laughs> yeah. old ones and Psycho. The black and white. <laughs> yeah, the Psycho one. Yeah, that's a good one. My son, I just, I made him watch because he grew up in this gory phase thing and mm -hmm. I made him watch Psycho so he could tell the difference between the slash and um, something that is more, you know, suspenseful. Like, yeah. Intrigue and suspenseful. Okay. Yeah. I am trying to make a kitty cat face here, and I have redone it. I don't know if you've all watched on this video, but I have redone it three times. As, but it's getting there. But that's right. Look, see, I have the shape of a cat face. Uh -huh. That kind looks of, really good. Yeah. Kind of have the shape that of a cat. That looks really, really good. Really? I think I don't know. I think I gotta like clean it up. You know, like how you 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 start and then you gotta go back and clean it up with like make the lines finer or what would you call it like. You more defined? Specific. Yeah, more defined, more specific. That's no, still because... really good. When I say I don't do well with drawing, I really don't do well with drawing. <laughs> drawing, you said? I don't draw. Oh, Julia, well. there's no mistakes here. Yeah. 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 Thank goodness. There's a couple times I can tell stories of different <laughs> activities we've done where, not just here at Shaving Memories, but even in the, where we worked before in the, in the facility. Yeah. We just... Well, that didn't work, did it? And it was <laughs> awesome because the the residents or our our you know our guests would be like, "Well, Paige," and they would tell us all day long, "That sure didn't work out what you were trying to do this morning, but good luck next time." I'm like, oh, they have had such a great. They were so, and they were they were always cheering us on, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, always oh, just like, I hope me. it works out for you, Paige. <laughs> Thanks. <Yeah. laughs> That's awesome. They are awesome. Everybody's awesome. Well, like Bob Ross says, what did he say? There's only happy little accidents, right? Happy yes. Accidents. <laughs> when he's painting. Happy, happy little, little accidents. <laughs> did you watch, I mean, did you actually watch him on PBS when he was like really? I did. I, I did too. Julia loves I, Bob Ross. I did Bob Ross. Julia, Cynthia loves oh, Bob Ross. I yeah. think you have great taste because I'm with you. Yeah. Julie's like, I learned how to paint. <laughs> I did. The little trees, happy little happy trees. Little trees and the happy little clouds. <laughs> and that, that I was gonna say, just he just so he's just so like, so happy. Early eighties and yeah. so late seventies, early eighties. He just he just is everything in that time era. Yeah, I love it. I am so excited about my little kid cat tail. Look, I painted to the tail black. So did you want me to talk about mazes in general? Oh, oh tell us yeah. about your, okay, so just so everybody out there knows, Julia is a, what do you call it? A scared, scarer? I would, a scarer? A scare artist or a scare actor. Mm -hmm. I've heard of other people call themselves like uh, oh, but monsters. You, you, but yeah, you don't like to be scared. And she don't like but going she to scare people. Oh, she scare likes to people. Scare yes. people. She likes it. And I, and I like going through mazes myself. Um, I'm the type that would, mm -hmm. no I've been going way. for many, many years. Um, and I used to start going, uh, I think it was in the, yeah, it was the early 80s when I first started going. You go to the Not Scary, not scary, scary farm. farm. They only had two mazes at the time. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Now how many do they have? Like millions? Oh, about 13. Depends on the year. Oh, my God. Um, I've never been. You know what? But I heard people that like that stuff, they like it. I mean, a, like they like going there and stuff. A good maze is awesome. Um, and I started just because my brother does a home maze that, I mean, is really, really good. And I've had other people who do home mazes that are really good. And then I volunteer with Boy Scouts because my son was a Boy Scout. And we would volunteer at actually one of the local parks here in Ramona uh -huh. where they would do a walkthrough. 
So we volunteered with Boy Scouts as scare actors until eventually a few years ago, we started doing a little bit for, you know, a little side money. It's more oh, for the love. you're working now. Yep, it's more, for, it's more for the love, though. But it's not really work if you love what you do, Julia, Exactly. So don't think of it that exactly. way. Exactly. Right? So this year, it is at a place called Alesmith Brewery uh, in uh, the Miramar, Mira Mesa area. Cool. And if you go out there, there is uh, either beers and fears type package where oh. you can get two craft beers. Nice. And, oh, that's... I don't know. That's, that's so smart. Oh, I like that. Does it look okay? Uh -huh. It looks I, really I, I never even would have thought of... I want to make you know, like I'm going to wait for it to dry. Oh, no, I don't um, want to do that. <laughs> no, that looks cool. Show them, show them. She's making okay. a cool face. That face looks... It looks Halloween, happy, scary. It looks Halloween -ish. mischievous. Okay. Like mischievous. You know, like, ah, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. We'll see how I it like turns it. out. But um, I think I'm going to we'll wait see. for it to dry. Because it's not drying. With, I mean, it will dry. But I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm, I'm going to do sorry. something else down here. But on the black face, I'm not going to. I'm going to wait for it to dry. And I'm going to make white, like, white eyes uh -huh. with red in the middle. And then white whiskers. So they'll pop off. You know, wouldn't that be yeah. cute? So I'll just decorate around here where I can still decorate. Okay, to continue. I'm sorry. Go oh, on. no. Uh, no, so you get two craft beers and what else so do you get? You get two craft beers, craft beers from Ale House, uh, mm -hmm. Ale Smith Brewery, and then you get to walk through the maze, mm -hmm. which I will be hunting in as, as along with other people. Um, we should go. Or you can go. You It does cater to young folks or folks who do not want to uh, share in the beer part. Oh, you, cool. you can buy just the maze. And go just through the walkthrough on that. And so that is coming up this weekend. Uh, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday. Uh, and then... And then is it Halloween then, weekend And then too? the Halloween weekend also. Oh, nice. I think so we should how go. So how do you get a job scaring people? <laughs> you know, I one would of, love to do that. <laughs> you know, she if you do... dressing up. If you do, you mm -hmm. should come check yes, out the type can. of a maze. I can... I can introduce, they're always looking for scare actors with the, it's scareventures.com oh is who we work through. He actually has been doing um, mazes on bigger and small scales and for personal, um, um, like he was just doing a build out of a maze and, and a, a scene for somebody up in the Beverly Hills area. Oh, so nice. he does it all through Southern California. He's been doing it for years, but he's local here in San Diego, in mm -hmm. East County, San Diego. So we ended up meeting up through him through one of the volunteer things we did for the Boy Scouts. And we just started doing things on the side, you know, when, when he does his bigger stuff. And it's really cool, actually, one of the, uh, several of the people that I've worked with, they work um, and have done scaring at Not Scary Farms. Oh, really? And, and the, the Queen Mary, when they do the screen. Oh, I bet that's yeah. scary. Mm -hmm. Queen Mary, that would be scary. That's a big boat. Yes. Over I would be Beach. freaking out. So oh. some of these are just great. And then um, I think what got me interested is that for anybody who's ever been to something like Not Scary Farm, they have these incredible scarers who are sliders. What's so, that? What's a slider? Okay, so a slider. Now I've <laughs> I actually... I imagine it's yeah, not a food. Yeah, it's not a <laughs> So I've actually... I do have the gloves. I made the gloves. My son and I use uh -huh. the gloves. And they're, they're metal tip gloves so that as you, you know, touch things or clack on them, they make that clacking noise. Oh, or you, scary stuff. Yeah, or you yeah. clack it up against the wall or hit it up against the ground or something, uh -huh. and it just, it does this clack thing. But oh, heck no. For the, oh, uh, no. For the sliders, not only do they have the hands, but what they have are special metal tipped shoes, and uh, they have metal um, knee pads. And what they do is they'll start running, and they'll slide on their knees, and when they, their knees, the metal hits the ground, it starts sparking. Or when they drag their hands with uh -huh. the metal tips, when they drag it on the ground, it all starts sparking. And they're like coming at me. Oh, yes. Like, oh, oh yes. no. They're no, coming Jamie. at me. There's <laughs> you know, like, oh, all no. this stuff comes up. Y'all would lose me in the first 10 steps. I'd be I'd turn it right back around. <laughs> you would know, you know what? I probably wouldn't even get that. That would be like, so much fun watching you. I would literally be... <laughs> I'm in the wall like this in the fetal position. Make it stop. Make it stop. That is creepy. They are creepy. That's their whole Look at her face. The YouTube oh love God. that. Oh, what? no way. I can't help but laugh. That's no. exactly what they do. I would not do that at all. You'd Let be me surprised. So Maybe. cute. You'd, You'd be surprised. Face. Look at, I'm using the Sharpie on the back and I'm going to write Happy Halloween, but the Sharpie dries very quickly. Oh. Uh, like where the paint, my paint is still 
the tail drew dried drewed dried faster on the um stem see the tail's almost dry that is but the face fast. is gonna take a while so i will definitely get, but i'm gonna write happy halloween on the back of this i like your face you have going on over there cynthia and your face too. looks good too i like no that. there's nothing no, I don't even know how to explain him. He's kind of scary him. looking. He looks, I don't know how to explain him. He looks like mischievous. Like he has something like he's like, <laughs> happy Halloween, come on in. And he's going to do something. I need to figure out how to do his eyebrows. Oh, yes. If he's going to have eyebrows. Let's see. Oh, gotta, my gosh. How do you so do you, are you, eyebrows? So what, are you going to be a slider uh, or no? Try this year? Oh, I was thinking maybe like that. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah, I, mean, I like, like this. Happy Halloween. Uh, no, I will like not be. I like that. Me? Mm -hmm. No, I won't be a slider. Um, can't be too old to do things like oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not on like running and going right. on your knees, but you could like drag against a wall oh, or yeah. something. Oh, yeah. That's always fun. A couple years ago, because of COVID, I didn't do anything <laughs> last year. But two years ago, I was walking around with a pickaxe, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dragging God. that thing around. So that was kind of fun. You know what? I now that you're saying this, I probably would like to be a scarer. Yeah. But I do not like being scared. Aww. I can see where I would like that part, knowing that I was like yeah. just in control of my mm -hmm. but I don't walk into something and I don't know what's about to happen to me. No, no way. No way. <laughs> I literally went to one scare house. You know where it was here in San Diego. They don't do it anymore. I, 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 it was um, a guy's house. He made a scary house. Okay. And my kids went in. And um, oh. I came running out screaming, and then he came out and followed me. He's like, "It's me, it's me." I was just like, oh. I mean, he had actors, everything in there. But when I I walked in, and right behind me, like one of his family members or somebody, like pulled off a chainsaw, like, <laughs> oh, oh, like that, and I was done. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, I like it. It's oh, kinda, look at it. it's crazy. It's gonna look good. It's I know cute. it started as mischievous, yeah. but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Oh. Miles will post my cat. Cynthia, you're going to post yours? Oh, yes. yours is up there. Yeah. So we're right going to finish up, and we will post all these pictures. Yes. I want to say thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for nice. joining us. It was nice. I know you were having me. me. Yes, of course. What a nice surprise. It's going to look great as soon as you're done. Yeah. I mean, I know you got to do a little eyebrows. Yeah. Okay, okay. everybody. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye.